Alright, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Mobile Kermit series. And this might be one of the biggest episodes of all time. Because look at the table. We are pretty much sure uh, to have a Champions League spot. Unless we lose both of our last games against Aston Villa and Norwich, both at home. And Arsenal wins both of their last games. We are pretty much uh, sure to have a Champions League spot. However, I don't think Newcastle can actually get past us. Because they've obviously already got 37 games, are 3 points behind us and have a terrible goal difference compared to ours. So the Euroleague is 100% and the Champions League is pretty much 90%. Uh, one point is gonna get us through. So yeah, hopefully we can get at least that. But I also kinda want, and I'm going back to the table, I also kinda want to defend that third place because... Uh, it's, it actually makes a bit of a difference whether you finish fourth or third because obviously you get more money for finishing third than you would get uh, when you finish in fourth. All right, it's just be focused. Not just I don't know. I literally we can't lose our championship spot. I don't think so. It's really, we just can't. If we do, we, I'm gonna actually end this career mode because that would be just too embarrassing. Many chances we'll see it. I think it's a case if you're passing it to Zalalem. Anderson, he's through. And he hits it. It's 1 0 to us after 22 minutes, pretty much. Wow. That was a great shot by uh, Dominic Anderson as it kissed the post. Going in. Just a terrible start tackle there by number six, I think that is, I don't know. Alright, and that's it for the first half. Really solid performance so far by us. Arsenal not getting that many good chances, really. Uh, hopefully we can hold on to this victory and seal that Champions League spot. And guys, if you remember, we actually have a slight chance to actually win the league. If Spurs lose both the last games, or actually lose and draw, and we win our uh, last both games, and also, uh, if Chelsea loses both their last games, he might actually win the title. <laughs> that would be just crazy. It's absolutely stunning how uh, stacked the first couple of places are, or how close they are. Because last year, I think it was Tottenham who, uh, with nine points, uh, won the league or something around that. It was pretty clear that, actually. But this year it's a whole different story. Everybody, ha everybody up there has actually a chance to win the league. But I think Tottenham, obviously, in the best position. They're probably gonna do it. All right, come on, Akuma. Just had a free kick. Not really successful, but there's oh, there's Shifty with a nice chance. Not really a highlight-packed game, but we're doing a good job defensively. So so far, this win has not been in too much danger. But I really would like a second goal here, just to be sure. And that's it! Like I said, not really a highlight-packed game, but a solid win still. Only thing is that we didn't score a second goal, and obviously the computer always has the potential to score in the 90th minute, but still, it's three points for us. And, and yeah, now let's take a look at the table. Alright, so everybody's now on 37 points, and we've got the third place secured! And we could actually win the title. If Chelsea and Spurs both lose the last game, we win the title. Because Spurs have drawn, apparently. Alright, it looks like Julian Weigel is able to return from his injury uh, for the last game. Doesn't matter too much, anyways. But I think I'm gonna bring up my first, my best squad possible. However, Timmy Cahill has decided to retire at 38 years old. It was about damn time. I guess, but still, what a legend he was, really. And I'm definitely gonna give him a start in the last game and have his last hooray, pretty much. So we have this last game against Norwich, and I actually want to take a look. Okay, so Sp oh, they're playing against each other. Ah, that is unfortunate. That's actually unfortunate. Wait a second, if they if they would draw. Okay, okay, we're not gonna win the league, that is for sure. Because if they would draw and we would win, we would have 75 points, but we have a worse goal difference than Chelsea. However, we could get uh, second place actually, 
Chelsea wins against Spurs and we pick up a win, we might actually finish second. So that is crazy right there. That is just mental. So to be honest, I'm pretty much rooting for uh, Chelsea in this game. Because like I said, a draw wouldn't do us anything and a Spurs win uh, wouldn't do us uh, anything either. Actually, it's it doesn't matter who wins, does it? If Spurs win, Chelsea have 74 points. So as long as we win and either Spurs or Chelsea win, we are in second place. That is just mind-boggling. But anyways, I'm gonna give Timmy Cahill his last chance to shine. And uh, other than that, I don't feel like playing Briggs, really. He's been a prick. And he's gonna leave us, obviously. Ah, just a... Just a twat, really. And... Hmm... I think I think we're good to go. I really want to have a strong team out because obviously we need to win this game if we want to finish in uh, second. All right, guys, last game of the season. Let's go. All right, guys, here Welcome we go. And obviously it had to be Norwich in the last game, the team I always kind of struggle against. But this time we have to win. To be fair, third is probably good enough. But still, uh, we have a great chance to finish second. Actually, we have a terrific chance to uh, to become second. Because if we win like 2-0, we would uh, then have a better goal difference than Spurs. So even if they would draw, uh, then we would be second. So we definitely must win this game. By the way, what a game this would be in real life. First against second, both the same amount of points. I think in real life actually Chelsea would completely park the bus and try to get a nil-nil draw. <laughs> wow, wow, they have everybody back there. I forgot to look uh, where Norwich is actually. I think they're mid-table. They don't have to. Uh, fight relegation. I think it's Leicester, Jimmy West House. Ham and West Brom at the bottom. And I think West Brom and Leicester are already uh, sure to be uh, relegated and West Ham are three points behind well, Sunderland but Sunderland has well. I think a better goal difference uh, by three. Oh my god! Are you serious? A deflected fucking ball goes in. Oh my god! Fuck's sake! I hate Norwich, and this guy scores his first goal of the season in the last game, obviously against me. Chief G's got a ball here. Oh my. Oh, he barely missed. For fuck's sake. Why did nobody deflect that into the goal, huh? Alright, that's half time. Just not playing well enough. And unfortunately, we are behind. Norwich isn't really better than us. Uh, couldn't manage to find a back the net so far. But still, I think we can come back. Ah, it's just pissing me off right now, this stupid goal. But let's actually look what is happening at Spurs versus Chelsea. So Spurs are leading, so... Ah, we should just win this game and get second. Alright, with that. Chief G! Oh, he missed it! Right, I gotta change something. Gotta change the formation. It's gonna be 4 1 2 1 2. Uh, Ibe's gonna get over there. Chief G, Anderson, that's alright. And Cahill is gonna come off for Davy Salker. And that's gonna be his last moment in his great football career. I don't know why I said career. That uh, kind of weird, but there's again a chance by Chief G. <sighs> Only that would have gone to back of the net, but there it is. Tim Cahill, goodbye, mate. We've had really a great career. One of the most prolific players ever to come from Australia. But now let's just get two goals. Let's get two goals. I'm actually not getting any uh, like alerts for uh, goals from Chelsea versus Tottenham, which is weird. Like you know when Alan McAnally, or this guy is called comes in and tells, uh, it's a goal for Chelsea. That's not really happening. Well, as long as we don't win, we can do anything anyways. So, we better get a goal right here. Davy Salke maybe. Passed it over to Chief G. And he missed again. He missed again. Are you serious? 
Time is running. We've got to go all his attack now. Got to go all the attack. Forward. Oh, obviously it goes to them. Oh, can't get it out. Jordan. Oh, he loses it there. Shit. Shit. We, we need it. Oh, my God. Ejeti, what are you doing? I press pass. You bellend. Oh, no. Why are you running away from the ball? Oh my god. And that's now a foul on me. Shit. Shit, time's running. Oh, just get him. No. No, why is it so hard? Oh my god, I just thought this was a pen. Why, is, why are they still holding such a high line? They're leading 1-0 on the road. It's just stupid, stupid Norwich. Don't like them at all. Yes, Nebri, and it's blocked, obviously. All right, quickly, quickly, come on, come on, come on. Oh fuck, Ford is, oh, Ford is up front. I really need that right now. Oh, get the ball, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Zivkovic, why are you there? Come on, Dominic Anderson, Castelletto, nice pass, Jordan. Oh, Fabianski. Oh no! Oh shit! What Castelletto? What the fuck? All right, that's it. That's it. We're not getting two goals. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I've tried my best. They better don't score here. That's Fucking hell! All right, David Ford's back. Stupid Norwich. Stupid well, fucking Norwich. And they have to score to 2-0, obviously. Obviously, they have to get a 2-0 here. Fucking assholes. Ah, oh, seriously, this is season... It's season four. We've played against Norwich in every season so far. And every fucking time they've been just AIDS. Scoring 80 goals. Never can score against them because the goalkeeper is always a god. But anyways, we will finish in third place. No matter what happens at the Tottenham uh, versus Chelsea game. Very unfortunate, but a third place is a lot better than I thought. I actually thought the highest we could get was four. I was kind of expecting 5th, but the highest I thought we could get was 4th, and we finished 3rd, mainly because of that 80 goal there. So now we actually get some money for 3rd place, and let's look, and it's 11 million pounds. That's very solid, that's gonna help us a lot. So that's it, and it looks like they've drawn, but Chelsea with the better goal difference, way better goal difference. They win the league. Wow, how dramatic was that? And it's Leicester City, West Ham and West Brom going down. So now we will end the season. We'll take a look at goalkeeper of tournament is Hugo Lloris. Dumbia takes top scorer, team of the competition is that... Only Castelletto. Okay, fair enough, he's played good, but... Why no Chifchi? Why no Zivkovic? Player of the competition is Wayne Rooney. Anyways, let's actually take a look at the top scorers. Because Zivkovic, Chifchi and Zivkovic both had 15 goals. That is amazing. Only three behind Dumbia, who's won it. And also, Davy Salka should be here somewhere. Yeah, there with 10 goals. We had three guys with double digit goals. That is awesome. Assists. Thorgan Hazard is first. I actually thought Chifchi would be a lot better than six. Huh. Clean sheets. Obviously, Ford and Nardi actually have the same amount of clean sheets. That's funny. Obviously, we uh, uh, we have to look at appearances, who's made more appearances, but it's almost 50-50, I, I would like to say. Anyways, we will sim ahead now, and until now, okay. And we will take a look at all the other leagues, at the Champions League and stuff, as we always do in this more chilled out, <laughs> I guess, uh, part of the video. Alright, so like we've already seen, Chelsea win it in front of Spurs, we are in third. Everton in 4th and Liverpool in 5th, uh, Manchester City, Manchester United and Arsenal all missing out on European football. Now let's see who's actually got promoted and it's Cardiff City and Fulham and either Crystal Palace or Burnley or Blackburn or Derby. We're gonna play uh, in the BPL next year. In France it's Marseille who've won it, 
West PSG, PSG only in 8th in Germany, Bayern obviously takes in front of Dortmund, Schalke and Bayer Leverkusen. Yay, Freiburg got promoted back. That's awesome. Juventus took it in Italy, one point in front of Roma. And Barcelona with a big margin over Real Madrid have won the Liga BBVA, aka La Liga. So now let's take a look who's won the FA Cup and it's Liverpool. And the Capital One Cup is won by Everton. We obviously were in the semi-final, but uh, went down in goal difference. Real Madrid won the Copa Europe, which is the Champions League winner against the EuroLeague winner, and they've won 4-0. That was obviously at the start of the season. Now let's see, Champions League, and Chelsea have won the Champions League too, with a 1-0 win against Bayern. Wow. Now let's take a look at the EuroLeague, and Schalke have won the EuroLeague in a Bundesliga final against Wolfsburg. 2-0 there, and I think that's all. Oh, the World Cup is on. That's pretty interesting. Obviously, I could have taken over England and play in the World Cup, but I, I really didn't, wouldn't want to do that because this is all about Millwall, this career mode. So we will advance, and we have a player contract expiring. Obviously, Briggs, but he doesn't want to rejoin us. Here's the thing. I don't understand Matthew Briggs in this situation. He wants 20k. Okay, I, I gave him that, and then he refuses the contract, and later tells me he do he wants to go. Look, you could have made 15k more per week this season, and then asked me to put you on the transfer list. I don't understand it, really. I don't understand uh, FIFA logic sometimes. It's pretty weird, but obviously we are getting now to the end. Ooh, Josh Murphy wants to be sold. Hmm. To be fair, we don't uh, need him too much. David Ford is happy again. That is good. Alright, so we get ahead. And the performance review uh, meetings should be scheduled soon. I can't do anything about Matthew Briggs. Sorry, board. Keep reminding me. So now we should come to the... Okay, uh, the performance review meeting. Uh, we did pretty well, <laughs> I guess you could say. And now we'll see... Gonna get to the end finish screen. Got loads of emails. And uh, obviously players returning from loan. And obviously Reader Wild is going back to uh, Man City. Oh, I actually for oh shit, I forgot to look at the score report. Anyways, we could do that, but now we're gonna not gonna see the growths for every player. But let's go to the end season screen. And obviously amazing season. They told me to get a mid-table finish, and we are in the fucking Champions League. Domestic Cup, uh, also excellent showing, obviously, in this, we got to the semi-finals. And now it's time to start the new season, and I actually want to show you my transfer budget and the squad, because obviously we have three players coming in, and I might need your guys' help. Alright, so finally we are done simulating, it's taking forever. Let's check our emails, we've got a Youth Scott Murphy report, and obviously we have three players, that have arrived on a pre-contract arrival and we're gonna take a look at them first of all Champions Cup uh, objective is to reach the group stage are we not in the are we not in a group stage yet do we have to go through qualification why we finished third domestic cup objective round of 16 season's budget is 18.5 mil Oh my god, a 90,000 wage. So guys, I think we could do something with that, definitely. Definitely, and they want us to qualify for the EuroLeague. But uh, I'm going to show you the squad right now, and you guys can tell me in the comment below, where do we need some help? Alright, so take a look at this team. This is probably how I'm going to start off, wait, uh, obviously with Weigl in there instead of Anderson. But I think that's pretty fucking decent. And yeah, obviously we have here Hydera taking a look at him. Wow, well, looks looks like a good player to me. And yeah, actually, wow, looks like he has a nice shot. 81 shot power. Good at tackling. Obviously we have Jenkinson here. Also, obviously a pretty good player. 76 overall. Can't really say much against him. However, it's still going to be Akpaguma in the starting position. And Jenkinson on the bench. 
Look at that. Roberts has gone up to an 80 overall. That is insane. He's our second 80 overall rated uh, in our team, obviously. And here's Yannick Gerhardt. He's going to be on the reserves for now. But obviously he's going to play a couple of games because Zalalem and Weigl obviously can't play every single game. I'm still kind of unsettled whether to play Ford or Nardi. They've been pretty much equal. Fuck. I just realized I forgot to show you the final stats, final uh, player stats. Well, sorry for that, but guys, now is your time. What is an area where you see, oh, you might want to do something there. Also tell me whether to start Roberts or Nebri. Because Nebri has been great for me, but Roberts also, they're kind of, they're kind of very equal. And Roberts is obviously higher rated than him. But anyways, I think one area is definitely center back. Definitely center back, more center back depth. Because we only have Beavis, really, and then Goodman. Definitely need somebody there. I think for the right mid spot, we're definitely in great shape with Nebri and Roberts. Maybe another Cam? A Cam, possibly. And a CDM, maybe. And a backup left mid. Because Murphy wants to go, and also he's not the greatest. Then, maybe another left back for Death. And on that, I think we have a very, very good roster. And also loads of money, really. What was it again? 19 or 18 million? Yeah, 18.5. Absolutely insane. But anyways, guys, that is it for this episode. Remember, leave me some suggestions down below. I will definitely take a look at all of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more Miracle Human and support the series. Till the next time. See you guys then. Goodbye.